Yo, rise and shine, Sunset Slayers. Today, my name is Dusky Dex, and I'm going to be talking to you about what Pokemon should get Mega Evolutions in Pokemon ZA. If you don't know what Mega Evolution is, I think you're living under a crustless rock right now, because this thing's been out for years. It's inspired many things like Z moves and Dynamaxing, and what's Tras Tras That's the that's the newest thing. Being first brought up in X and Y, everyone absolutely fell in love with this thing. It's the phenomenon when a strong bond between a trainer and their Pokemon pushes their evolution past their limits, and hence it mega evolves, gaining boosted stats and a cool new look. Also, their dex entries are pretty scary, pretty freaky to me. So let's go from generation to generation and see what the most likely candidates are for this region. Oh yeah, one more thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to follow more on my channel. Thanks, now enjoy the video. Now the first one on our list is obviously going to be the most basic answer, but it's going to be Charizard. Charizard is going to get a Mega Form in this game. He's already got the X and the Y Form, so he should get the Z Form. I swear, Game Freak loves this man so much, he's, he's got a Gigamax, Gmax Form, and two Mega Evolutions. Also, this guy is the champion Pokemon for Leon in the Gala region. So, honestly, to get a Z-Form for Charizard, I don't think it's that far-fetched of an idea. I could definitely see Charizard becoming maybe more of a, like, greener or purple type of tone, because that's how fire turns, because Mega Charizard X is blue, and Mega Charizard Y is orange. So, Mega Charizard Z could definitely be purple, or it could definitely be green. Either way, I just think it'd look great. Next up on our list, we've got Rapidash. Now, Rapidash... Why Rapidash? You'd think that's an interesting choice, but it's definitely one of the Gen 1 Pokemon that hasn't been revisited yet. Raichu has gotten a Lolan form. Golem's gotten a Lolan form. But a lot of the Gen... Basically, a lot of the Gen 1 Pokemon have gotten revisited. So, unlike most, I think Rapidash def definitely deserves this. Now, the reason I chose Rapidash is because definitely... I think this thing could become a flying- I'm just gonna say it, this thing could become a flying Pegasus. Fire flying. Oh, I'm just going back to the Charizard. I'm just going back to the Charizard type. Imagine, a fire flying Pegasus. Rapidash. How sick would that be? Do you want that? I want that. Another one of the controversial ones, definitely I think, is Dragonite. There's 10 pseudo Pokemon right now, and they're all Dragon types. But, out of the many, let's, let's count this through. So 1. Tyranitar has gotten a Mega Evolution. 2. Salamence has gotten a Mega Evolution and a Paradox form. 3. Metagross has gotten a Mega Evolution. You starting to see the trend here? You sticking with me? 4. Garchomp has gotten a Mega Evolution. 5. Hydragon has nothing. Gudra, my favorite Pokemon, has got a Hisuian form. Como has gotten a Z move. Dragapult, well, it's a later gen Pokemon, so really nothing exclusive to it. And Baxcalibur, also nothing exclusive to it. You're starting to see the trend. About four of those ten pseudos I named have Mega Evolutions. Three have nothing exclusive to them. That's why I think either Dragonite, or I'll get to the other pseudo later in this video, is getting a mega evolution for sure if you if you look at dragoner to dragon knight they're what what is how are they similar not they're not really that similar in in any of the things give it a long i don't know give it a long tail give it the like swirl give it the give it the beads on its chest make it blue make it blue make me blue make blue blue Oof, this one now just like charizard there's also another Pokemon that has two Mega Forms. I think you already know where I'm going with this. It's Mewtwo. We could see Mewtwo get a Z Form. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. Check out this post from Maxi on Reddit. Look at this thing. We could see Mewtwo taking on more of like a Zygarde appearance, becoming... A, I don't know, Zygarde. Do we even have any Psychic Dragon types? Ultra Necrozma and the Latios and Latios. So we only have two Dragon Psychic types. 
Ooh. Ooh, I actually, I actually like the idea of this one. I like the idea of this one next. One of the Pokemon that I grew up with in my childhood. I mean, of course, X and Y was my childhood, but still. One of the Pokemon that I overused on mostly every one of my teams that I had was this little guy. Oh, I didn't even, I even faced the camera properly. This little guy. This little guy needs more attention to his name. I mean, they made a huge plush for this guy. I, I've never bought, I've never bought it. I really want, I really want that huge plush. What, it's like, it's like seven feet wide or something? I don't know. But I think that, that huge fur will replace this guy. Yeah, this guy's getting replaced if I get that huge fur plush. The dark type or the fairy type, which would be perfect since it's a fairy. Wow, Fur only has a BST of 415. Give this man a Mega Evo Give this Game Freak. Give this man a Mega Evolution. Give him some HP and speed. You're good. You're good. Now, credits to Doodlebeard on Insta, but this this Mega Evolution for Fur is what I definitely think should happen. This I would love to see. I kind of I don't really understand the blue. Maybe make it pink, but this thing right here. We need this. Makarango is one of those Pokemon that I've really just kind of skimmed over, just never really thought about. Who knows? Mega Makarango could literally just be pure, pure fire, fire ground type. Make it, make it pure, make it pure lava. If you wanted to make Mega Tropius, maybe give it like, like Star Wars, like the X Wing. Maybe give it like X Wing leaves, and make it more of like a fall, a fall color palette. I think that would be really good. Not much to say for Excadrill. You know, you know the old anime girl in Log On? Give it some ets give it some inspiration for that thing. I mean, dude, I would absolutely love to see that. The next crazy one that I think is going to get one is definitely Golurk. Golurk is not only one of those strong Pokemon with a cool looking design, it would also be a perfect candidate for a Mega Pokemon. Yes, here it is in X and Y. It flies around the sky at mock speeds, removing the seal on its chest makes its internal energy go out of control. Oh, that. Oh, wait. Black and white, too. Golark were created to protect people in Pokemon. They run on mysterious energy. Now, the mysterious energy couldn't all be tied or related to Mega Evolution. No one knows what it is. But definitely, they could do that. They could tie it to Mega Evolution, and that could be the secret to Golark. And then maybe when Mega Golurk becomes, or when Golurk Mega Evolves, it, that energy it talks about goes crazy. Pokemon Legends EA could have a story running around the discovery of Mega Evolution and how it all first started. But then again, the Pokemon company said that the whole game would be in the city, so I'm not an urban redevelopment. I'm not really sure how. I'll trust. I'll trust the process, Game Freak. Love y'all. Now, we're going to do a lot on the Colos gen, because this gen definitely needed some more Mega Pokemon. Obviously, up first, we all heard when this game came out, the Colos trio weren't getting Mega, Mega Evolutions. They weren't coming to the game, and it caused a huge controversy across the fans. Maybe in this game, they could have their Mega Evolutions. And who knows, maybe they could explain, like, oh, the Mega, the Mega Stones maybe got lost in time, or are no longer in the present. Maybe they were destroyed. Who knows? For Delphox, definitely evolved more on that magician side. Chestnut evolved more on that knight side. And Greninja evolved more on the ninja side. I mean, I love love that starter trio. Except Greninja. Because I, of course, love RPGs. RPGs are my thing. I love them. The next Pokemon that I definitely want is Talonflame. Getting us a new flying type Mega Evolution would be great to me. And Talonflame is one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon. So you cannot pass up this opportunity. I got it. I got it. Make Talonflame, this majestic brave bird, into a phoenix. Make it into a phoenix for Arceus's sake. Make it, maybe make it more like Jean Grey Phoenix stuff. I don't even know. Aegislash is up next, and honestly, I could see Aegislash getting both an X and a Y form. Not only due to its ability that it could switch between a sword and a shield. <coughs> <They're> <coughs> they were they were fine, fine games, but very buggy. Two different Mega Evolutions, and its Y form 
boost the shield stats, special and defense. In the X, X Mega Evolution, give it special and just regular attack. Or just give it either one. Just give it regular attack. Next up on this list is Aurorus and Tyrantrum. And really, none of the fossil Pokemon have gotten Mega Evolutions. Why is that? Why is that, to be honest? And they could, they could be the first Pokemon to get Mega Evolutions that are fossils. That's where these two come in, Aurorus and Tyrantrum. Carbink, unlike Diancie, is just another forgettable Pokemon in his sister's footsteps. I mean, Diancie got a Mega, so maybe you could give Carbink... You don't even have to give Carbink an, a Mega Evolution. Just give it a evolution. Because you have Diancie the Princess, but you have no Prince. So make Carbink, under certain specifications, evolve into this blue Prince. And that could be a good evolution. That could be that could be Carbink's regional form. Just like in Legends Arceus, we got to see Ursaring evolve into Ursa Luna with a P-block. You could do the same for Carbink. Give it some give it some item and make it evolve into this strong blue diamond prince. That that is an idea for a regional cross-gen evolution. Boy oh boy do I know when I say it. And like I said before, another pseudo is probably going to get a Mega Evolution. Now, I mean this when I say it. Gudra needs a Mega Evolution. No, 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 no. I know, you, I know you're going to complain. It already got a Hisuian form in Legends Arceus. But it's needed among the pseudos. It feels weird it not being a poison type. We give Gudra a Mega Evolution. But not only that. We give it the well-deserved Dragon Poison type to be the perfect, amazing fairy killer. There's not many like Dragalgi. Dragalgi is underrated as heck, and it's a Dragon Poison type. But there are only three Dragon Poison types out there, so this could be this could be a great opportunity. And last but not least, just like Talonflame, I think Noivern should definitely deserve one. You could definitely evolve, you could definitely make Noivern maybe like a more Dracula Pokemon, give it some, give it more like a red, make it, make it Dracula, give it a long cape or something, evolve on its echolocation. I definitely think that could be a good idea. Alright everyone, that's all the time that I got for today, Leave a comment down below on what Pokemon you think should get a Mega Evolution, and why, and maybe I'll respond to it, maybe I'll even like it. I seriously can't wait for this game to come out. I think it's going to be really successful. They're working hard on it. They're not pushing it out to this year. So that means they're going to do it right this year. Anyway, I'll see you right after the sunset. And after dawn. Bye.